Tell me a story about Mike Switek and Joe Lombardo. Mikey Switek. Okay. Uh, Mikey Switek had this very astagious, or opulent uh, uh, necklace. It was a gold nugget necklace. They were nuggets. They were like this big. I don't know how many. Each one was about an ounce of gold. And he had this huge medallion. Uh, probably maybe four inches in diameter. It was round. It was from Mexico. And it was all gold, too. And he used to wear this around in the neighborhood. And Joey Lombardo, at one time, uh, came... He, he had an old Dodge he used to drive. It was uh, uh, partially primered, and it looked like a, a beater. But functionally, that car ran perfect. I mean... It had nice interior and everything else. But for somebody looking at it, it was a beater. And so he came around and he said, none of you guys, are. if I got to drive that piece of crap, he said, none of you guys are going to be running around in your electric 225s and your Cadillacs and whatever. He said, I'm not going to have it. So to make a point, uh, I think that's what he had in mind. You can make your own decision over that. But to uh, make a point, uh, he saw Mike with this necklace or this medallion necklace, I guess it's a necklace. And uh, he said, you know, I'm going down to Florida. And he said, I'd like to impress the ladies with this. And so he said, can I, you know, can I take your necklace with me? Mike was reluctant, but he gave it to him. And so he goes down to Florida and he comes back in a few weeks two weeks, I think it was. And Mike was going around asking everybody that I knew, uh, can you ask Joey for my necklace back? He was afraid to ask him for it back. He just didn't want to. And so weeks later, I don't know, a long time later, he finally got up the nerve to go see Joey. Joey was by the pool over at uh, Kozo's place. He was sitting on a chaise lounge chair that was a uh, uh, redwood, redwood chaise lounge chair, very nice. And he was Blowing smoke rings for the cigar. He liked to do that a lot. And uh, Mike went up to him and said, uh, do you think I could have my chain back? Now, he must have been prepared for this from other guys talking to him because the guys were laughing behind his back, Mikey Switek's back. But he must have been pre prepared for this. So he reaches in his pocket. He pulls out this chain. And it's a real small link chain, like a woman's chain. It's very, very small. And it had a St. Christopher medal on it. And so he hands it to him. And he says, that's not my chain. He says, that's not my medallion. He said, where'd my medallion go? And he said, oh, he went off on another subject. He says, that's St. Christopher. That's a St. Christopher medal. He said, that's a patron saint. I mean, he'll protect you. <laughs> so he gets off on that and he pulls up, he pulls the chain up. He's holding it up like this. And he said, that's not my chain. He said, my chain was big. He said, you know, and Joey turned around, looked at him and said, you know, it must have melted into salt water when it was down in Florida. <laughs> now, what is this guy going to say to JL? He was just a, a worker. He was a thief. I think Frank Collada knew him quite well. Yeah. Yeah, he did. 